All right, you guys, so like, share, subscribe. Ring that notification bell so you guys get all the updates whenever we release video content on the channel. Shouts out to the Lions Den community. Salute to my brother, A Weapons. He repped life music. Make sure y'all follow us on social media, on our Instagram. Also, make sure that you guys check out our Facebook channel, uh, facebook.com backslash ticket TV. All these links are going to be in the description box below. You guys can also catch our podcast show. Make sure y'all subscribe to our podcast show. We'll have all the hidden content that you guys didn't see from our podcast show. Uh, so all the links will be pinned below. Salute to everybody who donates to the stream. And we're going to get ready to get started with this stream today. Now, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Much love, honor, respect, and appreciation. Man, I didn't even think I was going to be back this quick, y'all. This thing don't got real now. It don't got real serious now with Diddy, uh, 50, and everybody else. As Stevie J, Hitman Stevie J, y'all know him from Love and Hip Hop. If you know P. Diddy, Stevie J is P. Diddy's right hand man, was the producer on a lot of those tracks on his first album. Uh, produced tracks for Big, uh, Faith, <clears throat> a lot of people. You guys know who Stevie J is. He called himself the good guy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Stevie J was one of the guys that was named in the lawsuit by Lil Rod. Uh, but Stevie J. Uh, basically has been standing 10 toes down with Puff in this whole situation. Now, for you guys who don't know what's going on, we did a video this morning on my channel talking about the situation with 50 and talking about the situation with Puff. Now, 50 uh, reacted to uh, the report uh, because uh, the brother who's suing P. Diddy uh, has put 50 Cent's baby mother, uh, Daphne Joy, in the lawsuit claiming and alleging that she is a worker you know what worker for p diddy and that she was one of the women that p diddy allegedly was you know moving around here right and working you know blah blah, blah. well 50 didn't like that he went off on social media apparently some waves have been made behind the scenes and now stevie j uh p diddy right hand man Sick and tired of the talk. Stevie J don't came out. Y'all smash the like button. Stevie J don't say, look, man, let's go get it. You know what I'm saying? Since you since you since you feeling away about Puff taking your chick, taking your baby moms, let's go get it. I don't think Fifth gonna respond well to this. This thing right here. Y'all know how Fifth get with stuff like this go down. He this is gonna get real ugly uh as far as just social media and then period. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Stevie J saying he want to box fifth, and I'm going to let y'all hear what he had to say. I'm going to let y'all hear exactly what he had to say. Curtis, what's good, man? You and your feelings about Daphne? Is she with gang them? Or is it that you sucking little Ron dick? <laughs> How we go? I want you to fade, nigga. Fuck all that. Since it's entertainment, let me beat the shit out of you on TV or something. Don't duck that. I'm calling you out. What you want to do, Curtis? Curtis! Man, so Stevie J is letting it be known that, you know what I'm saying? Since 50 feel away about Puff taking, you know what I'm saying, 50's baby mom allegedly. Uh Stevie J said he wanted he wanted to run the fade with uh with 50. You know what I'm saying? And y'all know how Fifth gonna take this. Um I'm pretty sure Fifth Pride don't already responded by now. Um, you know what I'm saying? But I mean again, you don't see too many guys calling out Fifth wanting to straight fight, wanting to straight box Fifth. So Stevie J don't step to and said that, look, man, since you upset about the situation with Puff and your baby moms, you know, let me and you go get to it. And that's what Stevie J is pushing right now on this on this thing, man. I don't know how this is going to end up, but it's going to end up ugly. You know what I'm saying? I don't think this is going to end up well, man. And again, it's always over a chick, man. You know what I'm saying? It's always over a chick. You know, me personally, I don't think Stevie J should have said nothing. I think Stevie J... His name had been included in a lawsuit. I don't think he should say nothing. I think he should just fall back and just not say nothing. You know what I'm saying? You got the boys involved and all this other stuff. I don't think that Stevie J should have said nothing. I think he should have just fell back and been quiet. But I think Stevie J, I think he hot about the situation. I think he feel away about this whole situation. And so, you know, I think that he, you know what I'm saying, you know, uh, his emotions gonna get the best of him in this situation, and he gonna, you know, this already has. You guys can see, he don't already said what he said. I, I'll let you guys hear it again. Curtis, what's good, man? You and your feelings about Daphne? Is she with gang them? 
Now, when he's talking about Daphne, he's talking about that's 50's baby mom named Daphne, Daphne Joy. So, I mean, he said, what you in your feelings? You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know if Stevie J had something to do with that. You know what I mean? But, you know. And Stevie J ain't no small dude either. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Stevie J is not no small guy either, man. But at the end of the day, man, you know, this ain't finna get ugly. You can tell it's finna get ugly. You know what I mean? Curtis, what's good, man? You and your feelings about Daphne? Is she with gang them? Or is it that you suck a little Ron dick? <laughs> I wish you the fade, nigga. Fuck all that. Since it's entertainment, let me beat the shit out of you on TV or something. Don't drop that. I'm calling you out. What you want to do, Curtis? Curtis! Yeah, it's finna get bad, bro. It's finna get bad. <clears throat> this finna get real ugly. Uh, matter of fact, let me see if 50 says something. Because I'm pretty sure 50 don't say something already. And I ain't even see it yet. Let me see if 5th says something. Hold on, y'all. Let me pull up 50 right now. Let me see. I ain't seen 50 say nothing right now. Oh, okay. So, yeah, Stevie J said this in retaliation of 50, right? Oh, okay. So, this is the reason why uh, I got it now, y'all. Here's the reason why Stevie J want to box 50. I'm going to show y'all right now. Here go the reason why. This is what 50 did right here. I got it right here, right now. Now I see what it is. Now I see what it is. Boy, 50 is something else, boy. Now I see what it is, bro. Um, so fifth, fifth, um, let me see. Fifth went and put this online. I'm, I'm going to show y'all right now what fifth did. This is why Stevie J want to fight 50. I'm about to show y'all right now. 50 Cent, he put Stevie J in this. That's why Stevie J said something. I thought Stevie J just jumped in it because, um, I thought Stevie J just jumped in it, y'all, because he was taken up for Puff. That's not true. Let me let, me let y'all hear what's going on. Uh, he uh, Stevie J jumped in this because of, of what 50 did. Here's what 50 did right here. I'm going to put this right here on y'all screen. So y'all can see what I'm talking about. That's what happened right there. 50 went on social media on his Instagram. <clears throat> and 50 put new documents show that P. D Diddy allegedly used videos of Stevie J having intercourse with another blank to groom men into blank. And then 50 at the bottom, he put, whoa, say it ain't so, at Hitman Stevie J. What the blank? This ish is a mess, is what 50 said. And so Stevie J, this is why he responded to 50 and said, yo, 50, you mad about what Puff did, you know what I'm saying? What what so and so what happened with um with your with your with your girl Daphne? You know what I'm saying? So now Stevie J telling 50 he wanna he wanna um he wanna see him with them hands. You know what I'm saying? Is what Stevie J is saying. So then we're gonna see what's going on. Y'all already know. Uh, now that Stevie J have said that, 50 ain't finna. This is finna get ugly. It's finna get ugly right now, man. You know what I mean? Um, and so y'all know how 50 go. He ain't gonna stop on social media. And I don't think Stevie J gonna stop. I don't think Stevie J care at this point. You know what I'm saying? And so I, I again, my bad, y'all. At first I had thought that. Stevie J had just said that just because. Nah, 50 came out online and put this on his, his Instagram. And then I can't even show you the other picture that 50 put up there. But if you go to 50's uh, IG, 50 put another picture up there. He put a picture from the lawsuit up there where it allegedly had a picture of Stevie J. You know what I'm saying? To the person who said, T.D. J's in trouble. No, he's not. Did you hear what the lawsuit said, bro? Had, did, when they said it said that Puff allegedly was going to try to use T.D. Jakes in order to clean his reputation up from the Cassie lawsuit. It didn't say anything about T.D. Jakes doing something. So stop spreading lies. You're blocked, dog. You guys like to lie on YouTube. I don't like that. If you're going to read the document, read the document correct. It said that P. Diddy was allegedly planning to use 
a rela- uh, 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 you know, uh, P.D. Jakes to uh, ruin, I mean, to uh, clean his reputation in the aftermath of the Cassie lawsuit. That's what it said. They said he was trying to use P- T.D. Jakes, uh, him being a preacher to try to clean up, make his, make his image look better. Stop lying, bro. Y'all lie too much on YouTube. I don't like that about y'all. Y'all take stuff, lie about it, push it over to the other. I don't like that, bro. I don't like that, bro. If you if you gonna say something, bro, don't lie, brother. You're not gonna come in here and lie like that. Tell the truth, brother. Tell the truth, brother. You didn't even I know. See, that's the thing I know. I know a lot of y'all didn't even read the lawsuit. The lawsuit is almost 70 pages long. You read that lawsuit, you'll know everything that was said. Yes, PDJ's name was put in the lawsuit. It wasn't, he wasn't listed as somebody who had did something wrong in the lawsuit. He was only listed as a person that Puff allegedly was plotting to use to clean his image up. Read the lawsuit, dog, and stop lying and stop capping and putting people's name out there and lying for your little pleasure, whatever you want to do. That's not right. That's not right. Y'all ain't going to learn until T.D.J. sue one of these dudes and make them prove the lie that they tell it. Straight up. See, some of y'all ain't really got nothing, so you can say whatever you want because y'all ain't got nothing to take. But some of these cats who got a little something to take, they need to stop playing with people's names. You ain't got concrete evidence, man. You play too much. You understand what I'm saying? Straight up. So, again, this is why it started right here on your screen. An hour ago, 50 started it. 50 went on. And then, like I said, 50 put the other picture. I can't show that picture here on YouTube. The other picture that Fifth put up was the alleged picture. That was the picture in the lawsuit. If you saw the lawsuit, the other picture that 50 put up, the I'm going to say it again. If you've seen the alleged lawsuit, the other picture that 50 put up on this post, because he put up two pictures. The second picture was an alleged picture of Stevie J with another with another guy. It was an alleged picture that was that was put in a lawsuit that was stated to be Stevie J. See what I'm saying? But I can't show y'all that picture on YouTube. That picture cannot. Ain't no way in the world you can show that type of picture. I don't even want to look at that type of picture. I fifty put it up on his page. I didn't even know what it was because when you look at the first page. If you don't get to see the second picture until you swipe over on, on Instagram. When you swipe over, he put that picture up there. That's just, you know, like I said, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, this finna get ugly, man. This finna get ugly. I know 50, he definitely seemed like he upset and in his feelings about this situation, you know what I'm saying, with um with, with Shorty, you know? And so that's why Stevie J, I thought Stevie J, my bad, y'all thought Stevie J was just going in just because. But nah, that wasn't it. You and your feelings about Daphne? Gang them? Or is it that you? Curtis, what's good, man? You and your feelings about Daphne? You and your feelings about Daphne? Curtis, what's good, man? You and your feelings about Daphne? Is she with gang them? Or is it that you sucking little rod? How's <laughs> it go? I want you to stay, nigga. Fuck all that. Since it's entertainment, let me beat the shit out of you on TV or something. Who's up that? I'm calling you out. What you want to do, Curtis? Yeah, man, it's, it's getting crazy, man. <clears throat> it's getting crazy, man. You got dudes out here ready to get to it. All, all this is over chicks. Everybody got to remember this. All this is over chicks, bro. You know what I'm saying? This is unbelievable, man. Unbelievable, bro. You know, this is what happened to our society, man, is that all this stuff is over women, bro. And so it's just crazy, man. Situation that's going on right now, man. You know, again. You know, I, I I first I thought it was just Stevie J jumping out the window, but nah, Fifty started that, bro. Fifty Fifty called dude out, man. You know what I'm saying? And if y'all seen it, then you know what I'm talking about, man. You know what I mean? Now I don't know why Fifty went at Stevie J, or if he just wanted to just keep going at Puff, and then and then Stevie J caught a stray. But um, Stevie J wasn't having it. Stevie J instantly went on his on his channel. And told Steve is told uh 50 that he want to fight. Now I guess 50 will respond whenever he see this, you know what I mean? And so I think that's what's gonna end up happening, man. But yeah, the situation looks like it's going left. I don't think Stevie J should have said nothing. Though. I think Stevie J should have just 
fell back and be quiet right now, man. It's hot out here on them streets, boy. Boy, you got them, you got the feds, you got homeland security, you got all these people watching, man. Ain't no way in the hell if my name is in any type of business, I'm saying nothing. You know what I mean? My name on any type of paperwork, you know? And so, um, yeah, because, you know, 50, he don't care. He going to go all day. He, his name ain't in that paperwork, so he going he gonna to use this as a, a chance to, you know how 50 going to try and go with it. But if he baits you into this, you know what I'm saying, that's just more problems for you if you Stevie J. You know what I mean? And that's just the truth, man. Dudes out here arguing over chicks, bro. Like I told you, I tell you all this, man. They're arguing over three old foes at that, man. You ain't even arguing over. I'm talking about you ain't even think about this, y'all. This ain't even. This ain't even over a, bro, man. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. Destruction of the black man, brother. Destruction of the brother. Over a chick that don't care about either one. I I don't understand this. I don't understand it. I don't understand it, bro. Yeah, man. It's just, I, I don't understand it, bro. It's like, bro, this always happens, bro. Half of the people that's in jail right now is in jail over a chick. Half the brothers in jail right now in prison or in jail over a chick. You make it make sense. I would say more than half. More than half. More than half. You said I want, you said I am a hypocrite. You want Stevie J to be quiet, but at the exact same time, you want LeBron to talk about it. Make it make sense. Okay, well, first of all, let me eat for you, uh, sir, over here looking like a low-budget Fred Hammond, right? Let me let me go ahead and cook you real quick. Uh, first of all, I said I want Stevie J to be quiet because he has a federal investigation going on, fool. The hell wrong with you? He has a federal investigation going on with Homeland Security. Did you hear what I said, Fred Hamlin? Did you hear what I said? That's why you be quiet. LeBron James do not have no feds on him. He have a dude accusing him of using performance enhancement drugs That's completely different than facing life in prison. Where they find these dudes at? P. Volati. Blocked. 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 Get them out of here. I'm sick of these dudes. You don't say nothing when you have a federal investigation and Homeland Security breathing down your neck. Y'all see what I'm talking about? This type of foolishness going on on YouTube. This type of foolishness that's going on. This is the type of foolishness that's going on. On YouTube. On YouTube. Man. Like, share, subscribe, man. Something wrong, something wrong with these people, bro. Something really wrong with these people, man. You tell a dude, hey, man, you got the feds on you right now, bro, and Homeland Security, bro. You might not want to say nothing. He comparing that. He comparing that to LeBron James. Come on, bro. Stop playing with me, man. And y'all wonder why you get cooked three the hard way whenever you come around me. Man, y'all let me know what y'all feel on this, man. You know what I'm saying? Two brothers out here ready to fight over a chick. 
that ain't even honorable. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Like, share, subscribe. Holla. And may y'all smash the like button. Let's get over a thousand likes. And don't forget to subscribe to my podcast show. Link to that will be up in the description box. I'll be live on my podcast show tonight doing a show talking about this. Well, I'm go where I go uncut. So if y'all want to hear the podcast show, click the link pinned at the top of the chat. And subscribe to the podcast show, www.patreon.com backslash ticket TV, man. We almost at 3,000 subscribers. A mind is a terrible thing to waste, ladies and gentlemen. Gone.